Okay, so this is the mole bridge part D, and um, I'm going to walk you through how to do a few sample problems here. Uh, for number one, um, at first it, it asks you to check to make sure the equation is balanced. So we have the equation up here at the top. Um, we notice that it's not balanced. So in balancing it, the first thing you want to do is check to see if your hydrogens are balanced. We have two hydrogens here. We have eight hydrogens here. So right off the bat, you can kind of tell that you need to put a four right here. Okay, in putting a four, um, that changes your oxygens to now four plus two, which is six. But we're actually going to save that for last, since the oxygen's by itself right here. Okay, now we want to look at our carbons. Our carbons are three. We have only one over here, so I have to put a three right there. Okay, now we can look at our oxygen. So I have a total of six right here. I have four plus here, or plus four right here, so bringing the total to ten. So now I have two oxygens right here, so I got to put a five. Okay, and that is how you balance this equation. Okay, so now that we have our equation balanced, um, we're looking at A, B, and C. So we're just going to choose to do one of them since they're all kind of the same. So I'm going to do B. It says if 8.75 liters of C3H8 react, calculate the following. And if we're doing B, which is this one, uh, we want to find the volume of CO2. So I start by writing down the number that's provided in the problem, which is 8.75 liters. And it's liters of C3H8. Okay. Now they want to go uh, from 8.75 liters of C3H8 to liters or volume of CO2. So this is going to be a multiple step problem. So I do my times goes into and I want to drop my label down, so liters of C3H8. And the only way that I can go is to moles. Okay, moles of C3H8. Okay, actually I'm going to zoom this in here just for you guys so you can see it. There we go, that's better. Okay. So, now that I have it this far, um, I plug in my numbers. So I have 22.4 liters equaling one mole. My liters cancel out, and I'm left with moles of C3H8. Now is this where I want to end? Is this my finish? No, I need to get to volume of CO2. So I do another times goes into. I drop my label down. Okay, and now this is your mole bridge, so I'm going from moles of C3H8 to moles of CO2. And then the numbers I get here, I look up at my balanced equation. So I have 3 for CO2, and I have 1 for C3H8. Okay, so my labels cancel. Now I have moles of CO2. I need to get the volume of CO2. So I do another times goes into. Drop my label. I'm going to liters of CO2. And it's the exact same numbers. One mole equals 22.4 liters. Okay. So this is your setup for... Uh, 1B, and I'm going to let you guys plug that in your calculator and solve.